Alrighty, there, this guy's done. Aren't ya? He is now a yellow 72. And that's, that's his mama. Mama can fucking stay there for right now. Oh. Seriously? I'm not mom. Go away. Piss off. I just put an ear tag, a couple of ear tags in your ears. You don't want to be near me. Oh, okay, let's go this way. See if he comes this way. Watch. Here he comes. Here he comes. He figures, okay, I'll go that way. I'll follow that guy. He's pretty cool. I like that guy. Watch mama fucking smack this fucking gate and smoke me. <clears throat> go this way like this. Push that in. There we go. Then he's with mom. He's just, I don't want him going outside yet, guys. That's why he is in there with her. Because I'm thinking I'm going to open this door. And we got psycho bitch out here. Right there looking at me. See that? He's like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Where's her baby? Her baby's psycho. She's psycho. Her baby's not psycho. Well, she's psycho bitch. <laughs> That's her baby right there. She's on the wrong side. Baby smarter than the mom. Big jump. Big jump for cow kind. Gonna have to build a friggin' ramp over here. Oh, there we go. So, who's calving out here? Hello, ladies. Yep. Who's got babies? Who's got new babies? Any new babies? <sighs> Calling all babies. Oh, there we go. Baby about to drop. I might need help getting her in the barn. She's not a complete psycho biatch, but she has not calved yet. That would be the water bag. For anybody that does not know, that would be the water bag. Right there. And she's going to be a bitch. She's not going to want to go where I want her to go, that's for fucking sure. So, this might require a second person. Mm-hmm. What's over here? Is that new? Nope, that's not new. That's old. Hey, you guys are knocking this around. Okay, alrighty guys, I'm going to give CP a call and see if she could come and give me a hand getting this to be mama, second caver, second time caver in the barn. We'll talk to you later. Alrighty guys, so we shredded a veil out in here this morning and they didn't really eat much of it. It was a slew hay veil, so I don't think I'm going to feed them tonight. Fuck them. They can clean some of that freaking shit up. Sure, it's kind of trampled in and whatnot but they can pick through it it won't hurt them we also shredded one straw veil all along this side all the way to where that cow is right there right against the windbreak 
Um, I put a little bit in the calf shelter there and we put a little bit in the calf shelter over there. Uh, we put a fresh bale of straw in our calving barn area. So we're pretty much about as ready as we're gonna be. But what the problem is here, what these lots of these girls don't realize is if they want water, they gotta go through that gate down there and into the fucking corral. And right now, they don't want to. They don't want to go into the corral for water. Hi you, how are you? Perky, googly eyes. Huh? Googly eyes. Oh, look at this little girl, all chromed out. Hey, eh? All chromed out. Huh? And that's off a of heifer. Looks good, looking good. 67 I think was her tag and that's her mother right there not very big but she's raising a heck of a calf right now <sighs> if you girls want some water you got to go to a different friggin area come on and all of these cows have been through that gate down there at least well maybe not at least once this year but they've all been through that gate more than once in their lifetime already so yeah I can feel a little bit of sleet hitting me in the face here guys all right I got a call I'll let you go well they got it figured out now finally I grabbed a half a pail of grain and uh, coaxed them all in a bunch of them in here so whether they'll leave this corral or not now tonight these few that came in I have no idea but they got access in there one's in there already so there's a little man I was just born this morning I don't know about this number five orange five cow. You back off, you bitch. That's not even your calf. Look at her. Look at her, guys. Go to your calf. It's down there. I'm up on the top of the corral now, so I'm safe. She's just being a complete biatch. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you go. We'll talk to you later. Alrighty, guys, well, there's number three for today. Got a little chrome on them, little black brockle face. I don't know what it is yet. Mom hasn't completely cleaned yet, but she's working on it. But, uh, he's lively enough, that's for sure. And she's doing, standing over top of him pretty good. I don't know if it's a heifer or a bull, but either way, Green 61 had herself a black brockle face baby. And that's all that matters. Don't matter if it's a girl or a boy. As long as it's alive and kicking, right? So, alrighty. So this other calf in this other pen that was born, it needs to be tagged out and so on and so forth. Oh, there it is, right there at the door. So I'm gonna get the tags rocking and rolling here, move mom out of here, just in case. Um. So I can needle baby and tag her out and so on and so forth. We'll bring you guys back after. Alrighty guys. 
So we're out, out here in the corral, in the big corral outside. And uh, yeah, the babies are all out here. They're, most of them are laying down along that side against the wind breaks, out of the wind. A couple right here. Well, we got one right here with his mom. And another one right there. And that's mom right there. Partially covered with cut feed. Oh, I'm not sure who this is. She's a psycho bitch. That's who that is. She finally came out of the corral. And her baby is still in the fucking corral. I don't got your baby, you goofy thing. Oh. Mm, so, yeah, she come a-running all right, that's for damn sure. Oh, she's just a-fucking following me, see this? You fucking bitch. That's gonna be a problem. She is going to be a fucking problem. I can see that somebody's gonna get hurt from her. Mm, so. Yep. Anyway guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'm sure I got way more than enough for this video for today. We might have another one or two babies yet today, so we'll bring you back if something happens. But other than that, give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you later. Alrighty, guys. Well, she's been eventful since I talked to you last. And this is a little girl. And I moved her into here. And she sucked. I saw her physically suck. And that other little girl that was born this afternoon, I don't know if she sucked or not. I don't think she did, but I tubed her. I milked mom. I got her in the maternity pen here, milked mom, and we tubed this little girl in here. Um, yeah, and then that wild psycho bitch of CPs, I managed to get her the fuck out of that crowd. And I threw her out there with the bulls. That fucking thing, she's leaving town. Because she's going to... I wasn't even near a calf of hers. And she charged me. So, good thing I was by the edge of a corral. And I was able to get out of there. So now I don't have to worry about dealing with her. I can deal with a lot of wild, friggin' psycho bitch cows. But that one's just a little too much to handle. How's that sound? So, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. And, uh, we got, apparently CP had told me, said something about her dog is having puppies now too. So she's an eventful one today, by golly. We'll talk to you later. Oh yeah, and the storm finally hit us that they said was supposed to get here yesterday or last night. Well, it's like fucking 5.30, quarter to six, maybe later, I don't know. And the storm is finally here. But there's that cow and her calf, and there's the bulls. They can chase her around and rape the hell out of her. I don't really give a damn. Right now, good thing I got her in there because I was prepared to have her hanging on a hook here within an hour. But anyway, later. Holy jumping Jiminy's boys. The storm is here, and it's here with a vengeance. And there's a lot of wind. They say she's gusting to 86K right now. Don't know how bad it's really going to get. You can't even barely see my wind breaks out there. I got to get over there and check on them girls. Weather like this, I don't know what it is, but cows always seem to fucking want a cow. Remember how I was saying before about the barometric pressures, right? Well, and here we're just checking on a dog. And what are you doing? Nothing? Go. Okay. This dog is fine. Alrighty. 
So, I'm going to let you guys go, and uh, we'll bring you back when we get to the barn out of this fucking wind, okay? Alrighty, guys, well, they're all laying down and huddled up along the wind breaks there, out of the wind as best they can get. We've got a bunch of calves in there, a bunch of calves over in that one over there. These girls are kind of cleaning up, rummaging, which is good. They'll get a whole bunch of fresh stuff tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're... This is her for the night. We'll uh, see you all tomorrow. Have a good one. Talk to you then.